Oh, hello there, young scientists. It's me, Pushy Pulley the Spider, and I've got quite a story for you. This morning, I decided to weave the biggest, most amazing web ever. I worked so hard, spinning for hours, and just as I finished, a big gust of wind came and whoosh, my web got all tangled up. I felt so upset. My hard work was ruined. I wanted to give up, but then I remembered. It's okay to feel upset, but we can't let that stop us. So I took a deep breath and thought about what to do next. I can't tell you how it ends yet. You'll have to wait until our next lesson to find out. But taking that deep breath helped me see things differently. Now, enough about me, it's time to learn. In today's lesson, we're going to discover what balanced forces are, how balanced forces affect objects, and where we can see balanced forces in our everyday lives. Let's begin. Balanced forces occur when two forces acting on an object are equal in size but opposite in direction. Think of it like a tug of war, where both teams pull with the same strength. The rope doesn't move because the forces are balanced. When forces are balanced, they cancel each other out, so the object either stays still or continues moving in the same direction at the same speed. Let's see this action with a quick activity. I want you to stand up and find a partner. If you don't have one, make an educated guess of what should happen. Now, with your partner, push against each other's hands trying to use the same amount of force. Push gently. What happens? That's right. If you're pushing with the same strength, both your hands should be in the same place. That's a balanced force in action. Now, try pushing a little harder, but make sure you're both using the same strength. What happens now? Excellent observation. Even though you're pushing harder, you still don't move if the forces are equal. Let's look at some examples of balanced forces in action. Example one, look at this book on the table. It's not moving, right? That's because the forces acting on it are balanced. The table pushes up on the book with the same strength that gravity pulls the book down. It's like the book is in a tie in a tug of war game with the table and gravity. Example two. Here's another example. Imagine two equally strong teams playing tug of war. If both teams pull with the same strength, what happens to the rope? The rope stays in place because the forces are balanced. Example three. When you're floating in a swimming pool, you're experiencing balanced forces too. The water pushes you up with the same force that gravity pulls you down. You don't sink or float out of the water because the forces are balanced. The water pushes you up with the same force that gravity pulls you down. How cool is that? Incredible. Let's recap what we've learned today. One, balanced forces are equal pushes and pulls in opposite directions. Two, when forces are balanced, objects that aren't moving stay still, and objects that are moving continue moving in the same direction and at the same speed. And three, we can see balanced forces in everyday situations, like books on tables, tug of war games, and floating in pools. Wow, you've all done an amazing job balancing your learning today. Just like I'm working on balancing my emotions with my tangled web situation, you've balanced your minds with new knowledge. And speaking of balance, wait a second, what's this tingling in all eight of my legs? Oh, my silky web, it's an Argo star. You've earned it with your amazing knowledge about balanced forces. Give yourselves a big cheer. You're now experts in balanced forces. Wow, look at that. I've balanced the forces on my web perfectly. Remember, young scientists, balance is crucial, not just in forces, but in many aspects of life. Next time, 
We'll explore what happens with unbalanced forces. Until then, this is Pushy Pulley spinning out. <laughs>